Okay, we're gonna put together this base stand here real fast from the bag. You've never seen this style before. That's the part you sit on. There we go. It has these four parts here. This is ultimately gonna become the legs here, right? Um, this part goes in the back, actually. And so there's these little notches here that you can see, and you just line them up. Oops, hold on. There's one. Uh -huh. This takes a little getting used to here, as you can see. Okay, so, once you, whoops. Yeah, this is the tricky part, getting all these things lined up. It does make a nice stool slash stand here. I just haven't done it in a while. Oh, there we go. Let's make sure these are very, very secure since this is a, you know, a stand which comes in pieces after you get the first one. I think the others are easier. You have to be very careful. Make sure that it's really solid in there because you don't want it falling over. There we go. Okay. Um, and there's the first. There, all right, and let's see if we can get this in without too much drama here. This part has to go in. This is the other tricky part, I guess. Uh, oh, actually, I think I just solved the problem here. So you put it in here like this, okay? Hopefully, you see that. All right, so I'm going to slide this in. This hopefully will just turn down for us. No. Okay, so. And that's how you put the base tool together. Okay, so you know, just be very careful as you're sitting on it. This one's pretty sturdy. You can sit on it, right? It makes for a nice thing. Now, the stand part is uh, this, the following. Take the base. Of course, make sure that the end pin is in. So it should be in. Okay. And voila. It sits there. Isn't that nice? Okay. And it's pretty secure, although, you know, it can fall to the side. Let's see if maybe we put the seat on backwards here. Now I'm wondering if this should be the other way around. Maybe that makes the face a little more sturdy. In there. So it does, oops, this fits in there pretty well. Together. This is how you both of those in there at the same time. This one in there at the same time. And so there you have it. All right, so this is the right way with the cutout here facing <laughs> facing out. And then the base rests again. That's, that's much more secure. Yeah, all right, because it has a little cutout for the back of the base to sit again. I mean, it could still, you know, if I, I, mean, I can bump it. It's not going anywhere, okay? All right, it has some uh, soft rubber lining here that's going to hold the base in place. You know, you want to make sure that it's still in a, in in some place that only you have access to. That there's not going to be a lot of traffic roaming around. You know, keep it in your room, wherever, keep it wherever you practice, because uh, it could still, you know, get bumped and fall off. But if it's 
if it's just where only you are going to be around it, then I think this is totally fine. Uh, so that you can leave your base out for easy access to practice. Okay. The only drawback to this particular stand is you can't really leave the end pin out too far. And uh, with this, let's see if you can leave the end pin out even at all. Leave it out maybe a little bit here. Yeah. No, no, no. Yep. That's too far, actually, because that's going to fall over. So it's pretty much the end pin has to be uh, in. So, all right, but still much easier than, than bagging it up. Okay, and then, it, of course, it takes up a lot less space in the room. And there you have it.